Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have an interesting tutorial for the Divi menu. I'm going to show you how to make a horizontal scrollable menu on mobile. Now that was quite a mouthful and it may sound really odd. Why would I want to do that? Basically, it's going to open up the hamburger menu and instead of having, you know, where you click the menu and then it appears, they would always appear and they would be in line and they would scroll back and forth. Like you could see one or two or three. And then when you scroll over, you'll, you'll see the rest. Kind of an interesting little tutorial. Let's get started and show you how to do this. So as always, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the link in the description to go over to the blog post. That's where I have the snippets. All right, so we're keeping our hamburger menu open on mobile. That's part of it. It's gonna be part of the snippet. Okay, and, and then we're creating um, a couple of things need to do be, need to happen. And then a couple of things need to happen to make it, to, to make sure those items stay horizontal so you can actually scroll. And this is for the menu module. I'm kind of done with the default header menu. We should be using the menu module by now. All right, so first of all, just setting up your menu. You know, it's a, it's a menu module. So, you know, add it to your layout, maybe in the theme builder, whatever you're using that, right? And I want to show you something here. So I have two of them on the page here and I'll just open up the builder. You really probably do not want to have a logo in this particular menu. Because what's going to happen is when you go down to mobile on your phone, there's not going to be enough space. All right. So by default, it doesn't have the logo, right? Like right here in this first tab, you can choose logo. And that's what I've done on this one. So you're going to see the difference. It, it won't work to have, I mean, it really just won't be enough room. All right. So anyway, just that out of the way. First thing we're going to do is add a custom CSS class. That way we can target this particular menu, right? Uh, we, we always do this, you know, it's, we want to copy the class here, PA horizontal scroll menu. We always put a custom class in that way. Our code is not general. It won't affect all the menus on our site. Rather it will only affect this one because that's what we want. All right. We're just going to put it in here. So go in here to your menu module settings, advanced tab. CSS ID and classes, open that right here. CSS class, paste that. PA horizontal scroll menu. All right, good. So the next step is just adding this snippet. This is you know pretty simple. And I'll talk a little bit about this, but um, basically just you know copy it and put it in your Divi theme options. Um, typical place that you would put that. You know, you always go in here, scroll down, put it at the bottom right here, right? Or if you have a child theme, you can put it in your style.css file. All right, I guess I'll put it in my page settings this time. So for me, I'm just going to put it, I'm gonna paste it right there. Now you won't see a whole lot of things happen because, oh, don't worry about that. That's just one of those, it's the system that they use, the software that Divi uses for the code editor is not up to date. It's not their fault. Um, anyway, it's fine, you can ignore it. Um, first thing we're doing is we're we're taking when we when we go to a menu module on mobile it's going to have a hamburger menu it's going to basically collapse on, and then you click you know these first two snippets are just undoing that essentially we're saying hey i want to display basically the desktop menu on all devices and i want to get rid of the menu module or sorry the hamburger menu sorry all right that's the first two and then you know, the next one, we're just basically forcing that menu to be full width because, hey, we want to we want room for those menu items to slide back and forth. OK, so we're saying width 100 percent and overflow is on auto. That's because, yeah, we want it to overflow the, the you know, we want it to actually be able to overflow because if it did it, it anyway, it's, it has to be that way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, the next one is. It's going to, if I didn't have that snippet, it would, it would want to stack the items to try to fit, like it would try to fit in this space, right? But no, we want them to stay horizontal in a row. Therefore, we're saying do not wrap. We're saying flex wrap, no wrap, okay? And this little margin here, you can actually change that 10 if you needed to, but you'll see that later. Anyway, the last two are just hiding the scroll bar. 
you, maybe you want the scroll bar. Maybe you want to get rid of these last two snippets. Yeah. So anyway, we have it added. Now I talked a little bit about what it does, and we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Let's exit the page here. Okay. Now again, obviously this is for mobile. Go to inspect. And there we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just make it small. Remember we didn't do this one, and, and that's what I was talking about. Like there would have been no room. Now you watch. See that? This little dot would be, you know, my finger. But there you go. That's what I I guess. Hopefully it was clear what I was trying to achieve, but that's it right there. And again, I said I hid the scroll bars. If you didn't want to hide them, you could undo that. But there you go. I've seen this. I don't know if it's in apps or, or websites or not, where I, I've seen a menu like this. But this was a request. I saw it in a Facebook group. Someone was asking how to do it. And I was like, you know, that would be a fun one to do. Uh, I think this is what, number 38 <laughs> for the menu. Um so many menu tutorials but anyway that's it i'm gonna keep this one as short as possible hopefully that well if you remember this if the need ever arises or just play around i don't know i don't know the exact use case for it maybe to make an actual menu like at a restaurant um, a menu menu so anyway enjoy and give me a thumbs up if you thought it was a fun little tutorial and i'm open to ideas I hope that you know that by now. Um, if you have an idea, definitely leave me a comment or reach out to me in some way. And if you're subscribed here, this is what you'll get. So be be sure to subscribe. Um, it's amazing seeing how many of you are interested in these Divi tutorials. And I have so many planned. So many planned. At any given time, I'm about a year ahead, believe it or not. Yes. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching this interesting little tutorial. And we'll see you all in the next video.